Alright everyone, welcome to another Destiny 2 best class setup for the Crucible. Now guys, this is for competitive, social, and etc. This, these weapons I'm about to show you, the kinetic energy and power, they work in unison and they are the best out of all of them. I will talk in depth about that in a very quick video, so let's just jump right into it. Now you might be asking yourself, this is the beta, not the full game. Well, guys, the weapon types in Crucible, it doesn't matter if it's... It does kind of matter if it's exotic, but not at the same point, because they're making this competitive, meaning a lot of the weapons will have the same damage, they will have the same accuracy, they will, they will kind of be the same in a lot of areas with minor differences. Also, weapon types. We have all of the weapon types in some way or another in the beta, so we have. I have a good understanding of all the guns in this game. So let's move forward with this video. So, for your kinetic weapon, you'll want to choose a pulse rifle. Reason being, every other one is unreliable. The auto rifle is awful at long to medium range. It is like garbage. Close range, it is okay if you hit the shots. But in fact, I would rather use the submachine gun rather than an auto rifle if you don't want to use the pulse rifle. It just is horrible. Never use this. The pulse rifle, it is accurate it is one of the most accurate weapons in the game it is great damage you're going to drop people left and right there is no kick so you don't have to worry about that and overall it's a 30 round clip it is just a perfect weapon in the d2 game because guys one thing everyone has to understand before i continue this game is brand new it everything feels different the gunplay feels different the movement feels different it does not feel like Destiny 1 in any way possible. Maybe even the looks kind of look like Destiny, but everything else just does not feel like it. They really rework the whole system, so we have to start from scratch on a lot of areas. Pulse Rifle, amazing. The Hand Cannon, they need to rework this. It does not have the same impact. It just feels weak, unreliable, just bad. Um, sidearm, garbage, never use that for anything. Moving on to the energy weapon, the submachine gun is what you would be choosing. This thing is a beast at close range, which the only way you'll be using this is close range. And it doesn't matter what, uh, what do you call it, energy type, it just use one. The thing is going to be dropping people left and right. Sidearm, way too inaccurate. Don't use this. Same for hand cannon. The hand cannon for energy weapons is worse than the one in the kinetic. So it's like even worse. Never use these. Same for the scout rifle. God awful. Now, in the kinetic weapon, there is a scout rifle as well. I had on my other uh, account. Now that is right under the pulse rifle, as in damage and accuracy. But the pulse rifle just edges it out, edges it out just a little bit. So always use the pulse rifle for your kinetic, and for your energy, use the sub because it is just great up close and it gets the job done. Moving to power weapons, you will use the shotgun. This thing is a beast. It is gonna kill people left and right. You don't have to worry about. Really anything. The sniper is unreliable. In this game, I don't know if it's bugged, but it's inaccurate. The kick is way too much. It just feels awkward. The shotgun's gonna be a one hit kill up close, two hit kills at a little further out, and it's very quick reload, so you're gonna be able to get out those bullets at a very quick rate, killing the whole team. I've done that a few times, killing the whole team with one magazine of the shoddy. The grenade launcher, garbage. I have used a rocket. It's um, it's a rocket. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend it. Not in this type of uh, crucible. It just does not work. It does not feel the same as the original game. Um, fusion rifles. They are mad. They're like neck and neck with the shoddy. If you don't like the shoddy, use a fusion. That's my recommendation. This thing is pretty decent, but the shoddy is just up close. You're gonna get those kills. And the way the maps are laid out is very close quarter. So you're going to have to make sure you really get um, your stuff ready for close quarters. And this just is a charge, so you're going to have to deal with that. But they're very close together. Now, those are your three weapons you will choose. Pulse Rifle, Sub, and Shoddy. Everything else, guys, just they just don't work together. I've used all of these weapons many times in many different games and many different combinations. This is what I chose. Using this setup, I have gotten 21 kills in competitive, 27 in social. I use Gunslinger on my Hunter. If I'm a Warlock, I use the Nova Bomb, and if I'm a Titan, I use the Ground Pound. The second ability that they have, the new ones, 
they are very unreliable in the crucible they are only good within the pve strikes or whatnot reason being you can dodge them super easy you can seriously just jump over them and it's crazy it's they're inaccurate they're not um they don't get the kills i've killed the whole team using the arc strider and you know the other ones um, multiple times in competitive but they just it, you have to really do crazy things to get it and it's just not worth it gunslinger you get it done you win hopefully you guys enjoyed this very quick video if you did drop a like if you want subscribe if you want guys i've got a ton of d2 content coming out to your way talking about the game going more in depth about competitiveness and all that good stuff and got some really cool things uh so stay tuned on the channel and as always this has been two by two and I'll see you next time.